Hi everyone. Today I am going to tell you the mnemonic of how to remember I signs in toxic goiter. Basically, there are many I signs, but you have to remember only the five important I signs, which I will be describing now. They are Stelvak sign, Von Grave sign. Dalrymple sign, Geoffroy sign, and Mobius sign. And these are in the order of appearance of those signs. So, firstly, Stella X sign. So, basically, Stella is used to describe stars so Stelvac sign is staring look which is indeed absence of normal blinking ok so Stelvac stellar is used to describe stars and staring look next one is one grave sign this sounds like grief, sounds like grief. So when people are in grief, they usually look down. So the patient looks down, but there is lid lag. So one grief sign is lid lag when the patient looks down. Coming to the third sign, which is Dalrymple sign. This is very simple to remember. As the name indeed suggests, Dalrymple, LR is in the middle, which means lid retraction. There is lid retraction of the upper eyelid. Okay, so the next sign is Geoffroy sign. Here also in the middle, there is two F's. This look like wrinkles, wrinkles on the forehead. So basically, Geoffroy's sign is absence of wrinkles on the forehead, like wrinkles are off. Patient is asked to look upwards, but there will be absence of wrinkles. Coming to the last sign, which is Mobius sign. I'll explain why I've written so far for the letters. Movement of eyeball is unsuccessful. So, in short, convergence is lost. Okay. I'll revise the eye signs quickly for you. In order of appearance, the signs are Stelvax, Von Griff, Dalrymple's, Geoffroy's and Mobius. First sign is Stelvax, which is staring look. Why staring? I told you. And then Von Griff's is the lid lag when the patient looks down. And the Dalrymple, which is lid retraction. And the Geoffroy's is absent wrinkles. And the Mobius as movement of eyeball is unsuccessful or in short convergence is lost that's it friends thank you if you like the video please comment below